disarm you. Throw up your hands. Oh, not what I want. How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Caddy right back into another Legends of the West video. And as usual, we are doing something inspired from an outfit from Wyatt Earp <laughs> that our dear Commander Sparks did that was requested on the channel. And of course, as usual, we're going to have a link right up top for you to go check out how he made the outfit. Also, fun fact, if you can't find the black hat or the black uh, fancy pants, uh, go around looking for outfits that have them. Something that Sparks missed and has been told. And that all said, let's move on to the gun, shall we? Now, thankfully, my secondary was already pretty damn close. But I said, you know what? Yeah, that's it. I use this in everything, though. I, I use blued steel and everything. I use the brown steel to get the color case heart coating and all that. It's like, uh, uh, as much as I love this look, as much as it does work, and it can work if you decide to do Wyatt Earp's gun, I decided to go with something a little bit different, just to kind of mix things up, just to change it up. I actually decided to just make the barrel, the cylinder, and I believe even the trigger, black and steel. Now while it doesn't have the shine of the usual stuff, you know, every time I go back and watch that movie, every time I look at a stock photo of the gun, I keep reminding myself, it's like, yeah, and while it is probably technically blued, it's also possibly a reproduction, they probably blackened the steel back then. Last time I checked, blued steel was actually... Well, actually, no, I don't know that. That's some research I need to do on my own. And as usual, grip, no carving whatsoever. He does have this nice little engraved emblem on it with uh, a phrase or something on it. I can't remember right off the top of my head, sadly. And sadly, we can't reproduce that. And that said, of course, I fall right back to my old mahogany ways as I have to search through all the grip types just to double check, and nope, mahogany is still the winner. And that's essentially it. <laughs> Again, my bills keep getting easier at your request, and I love that. Now, of course, like I said before, you can go blued steel for the cylinder or the barrel and the sights. I went with black, and I felt like it looked that more kind of grungier, it's been through some shit part of it. Pardon my French. Ah, uh, that all said, and of course, since I have a new gun, I gotta go do something phenomenal with it. So I gotta go hunt down and try to get robbed somewhere and uh, shoot me some poor old cowboys. <laughs> uh, now while I go and do that, let's go ahead and cut to our final product and a comparison photo of the actual gun, shall we? And here we have our finished product with a nice little list of everything you need to make it. And as I said, I 
thought this was a fairly accurate representation. And something I missed. Uh, you do need the long barrel for this, obviously, because Wyatt Earp's single action army is a bunt line. In fact, it's an absurdly long bunt line. Like, it would almost rival the one Van Cleef uses in <laughs> for a few dollars more. Sucker is long. Like, this is. Whew. Kind of wonder how you got so fast on drawing that thing with such a long barrel, in fact, now that I think about it. That all said, let's go ahead and throw up a photo of the actual gun and make a quick comparison side by side. Now, one of the things that I will wholeheartedly agree with Commander Sparks on, because apparently it relates to damn near everything in the game, the black is either not completely available or it's just not dark enough, <laughs> as we see from this photo. I even went to double check to make sure I pulled the right one with the black and steel, not the blue, and no, that is black and steel on the gun. And it still doesn't quite look dark enough. That all said, that's a fairly accurate representation of what we're going for. So, we're keeping it. <laughs> it's also about the only way we have available to us to recreate Wyatt Earp's legendary revolver that he used in the gunfight to OK Corral. At least I'm fairly certain he used that gun in there. I'm not even sure what the actual gun looks like now that I think about it. This is just the tombstone version that we all know and love. Anyway, I'm rambling, my apologies. As usual, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this all helped you out fulfill your dreams of becoming a legendary law man in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and finally attempt my hand at Red Dead Online now that I finally have access to the beta. Curse me for not getting the Ultimate Edition or getting it day one. And I hope to see you all online. Ah, and as usual, if you did like the, what you saw and it did help you out, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with your own personal request of what you want to see in Red Dead Redemption 2 and what you think legendary figure's gun could easily fit into this or could be easily made. Or even not so easily made. I've tackled some weird ones. I digress though. Thank you all for watching. Till next time kids. Take care now. Bye bye then. And I'll see you in the west.